ओम ज्ञान तिमृंधस जानाजन शलाकय चक्षुरमिल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवाश श्रीरूप साग्रजा सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सबधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्णा चैतन्य गौरत्षे नम पंचतवात्मक भक्तस्वक भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदे गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से यतोन्वयादित्रत चार्थे सुभिजस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदिकव मुह्यूरय तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुहक सत्यम परम धीमहि नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तिस्तु विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यां भूता शिव मिथो धिया मनश्च भद्रम भजता दधोक्षज आवेशता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो टेन चैप्टर थर्टीन वर्स नंबर फोर्टी सो अप टिल नाउ वी रेड हाउ श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी ए डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट Balram not knowing the whole situation, and then he deliberated on it, and he finally was able to see that it is Krishna who is manifest as the cowherd boys as well as the calves. So now he describes delusion of Brahma. how brahma also did not know what was going on he thought that he is trying to bewilder krishna and he is in control but now he will also realize so here the verse 40 says tavad 
एत्यात्म भूर आत्म माने न त्रुट्टे न हे सा प्रोवदाब्दम क्रीडंतम दद्रिशे सकलम हरिम सो देर आफ्टर ब्रह्मा इज कॉल्ड हेयर एज आत्म भू सो आत्म माने न त्रुट्या ने हसा बाई हिज ओन कैलकुलेशन ही केम आफ्टर वन त्रुटी ऑफ टाइम विच वॉज इक्वल टू वन ईयर हेयर ऑन अर्थ सो वेन ही केम हेयर ही सॉ दैट कृष्णा ही वॉज प्लाइंग एज बिफोर देर वॉज नो डिफरेंस एज ही हेड लेफ्ट एज ही हेज सीन हिम वन ईयर अगो बिफोर ही स्टोल द बॉयज एंड द कैफ्स नाउ वेन ही केम बैक He sees the same scene, as if nothing had changed. So for him, it was one moment coming and going. So here also, it appeared as if only one moment has passed to him. Although one year has passed, so this is also interesting how the time is perceived differently. For he is perceiving it as only a very short period. and he is actually seeing it also like that even if he perceives things will be different but to him the things also did not change the boys and krishna and everybody they just looked exactly the same and as if they were just sitting and eating as they were eating before so this was quite amazing thing that how did this happen all the one year has passed so sri vishnu chakrati he comments brahma mohan prasange eva gopyadinam mohanadikam vivrittya punar brahmano pi vishesto mohanadikam divaritu maravate tavadati so in this description of brahma mohan or delusion of brahma he described the delusion of the gopis delusion of the cows and delusion of balram and now he wants to describe the delusion of brahma so varse yate api atmano manena trutya nehasa truti matra kalena ati shigra agamanam mahabhaye nev so although here on earth one year had passed but brahma came very quickly why he came very quickly he says mahabhaye ne he had a fear that something can happen something can go wrong he can get into trouble so that's why he came quickly it's good otherwise if he takes his one day then it will be another krishna avatar here so therefore it says mahabhai ne yat atmano hare he sakasha deva bhavati sa why was he in fear because he is atma bhu he is born from krishna so he is playing game with his father so he is thinking he can get chastised so therefore he came fast atmbhu also means self born because he was born he, he was not conceived or atmbhu here it translates according to the context as born from krishna so abdam ekabd paryantam saklam vats baladikam harim krishnam cha vastutastu कला तत्स्वूप भूता वत्स बालाद्या तत्सहित ददृशे ददृशे सो ही सॉ दैम दैट देवर एवरीबडी वॉज सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंस सो सकलम हैज टू मीनिंग्स सकलम मीन्स ऑल एंड विकलम मीन्स पार्ट समथिंग मिसिंग 
So that is one meaning that he saw Harim, Sakalam means he saw Hari along with everybody else. And he gives another meaning that in reality what it means is that Sakalam means that he saw Krishna along with his Kalas, along with his parts who were in the form of covered boys and calves. So therefore it says Vastutastu Kalas Tatswarup Bhuta Vats Baladya. So Kala here means that his Swarup Bhuta, his manifestations, Ete Chams Kala Krishna. Pumsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan So that is the word Kala here used in the sense of his expansion or his manifestation. Dadrishe Dadarsha. So Baldevastu Puru Varsha Vat Tasmin Neva Janmaksha Dine Shantika Shnanadi Artham Matra Rakshitaiti Puru's game. So now he came exactly after one year and not according to the solar calendar but according to the lunar calendar. So it was again Baldev's birthday, the day he came. Because according to solar, it would be different because in India you celebrate according to the lunar. So the day he came and he has stolen calves and cowherd boys, it was Balram's birthday and that's why he was not present. So today also when all this is going to happen, Balram was not there when Brahma came. So Balram did not see Brahma and Brahma did not see Balram because again he was kept at home to give him special treatment for his birthday. So whether it was special treatment or special torture, I don't know, because if he cannot be with Krishna, but they have to stop him. He says, because maybe the brahmanas were called and he is going to do some yajna and he will be given some bath, the ceremony, all that. So therefore it says, Shantika Snanadi Artham Matra Rakshita Kipur was given. So therefore Balram missed both days. He missed the Ghasur Leela and he missed Brahma Mohan Leela. But he knew at least now that Brahma has played this game because he already was explained. So Yavanto Gokule Balaha Savatsa Sarva Evahi Maya Shaye Shayana Me Nadhyapi Punaruthita. So now his mind started churning that what is this? What has actually happened? He says, Yavanto Gokule Bala Savatsa Sarvevi Maya Shaya Shayana Me Nadhyapi. He says, All the boys along with the calves which I have taken, they are all sleeping under the influence of Maya. I have put them to sleep and they have not woken up. So then what is here this? How is that there are the children in this place? So this was his bewilderment and he was not able to understand. Just as Balram was not able to understand in the beginning. So it's not that he is great person, knowledgeable. If Krishna does not allow him to know, then he does not know. So this, that's how he, he will understand that how his Maya is insignificant in front of Krishna's Maya. So Tadrishtva Chaivam Vyavartake Ityaha Dvabhyam. So after seeing these boys here, he started thinking in his mind that which described here in this and the next sloka. Maya Shaye Man Maya Talpe. So Man Maya Mohita. So he says that these children they are sleeping on the bed of Maya 
being influenced by my Maya. So who are these children here? How is that I see this? Teva Krishna Natra Anita Vaiti Vibhavya Maika Nam Nati Nikte Gatva Tarjanya Savinema. So then he thought that is it that Krishna has brought them here? Because he left the children in Brahmaloka. And then he came here and he sees the children again here. So what do you think? He thought that he has brought them back here, so he ran back to check. And when he goes there, then he sees them as it is, that they are happily sleeping. So he comes back. So he met first trip and then second trip. Because he wants to see what is this, that I, I left the children there and now I see the children here and the calves are also sleeping. So who are these? So he thought that maybe Krishna has, by his yogic power, he got them before I came here. And he put everything as it is to show me. But then he goes there and then he is saying, Yavanto Gokule Bala Savatsva Sarvevi Maya So he is saying that these children are sleeping here. How is that I see them there? So then he comes back. Itayate atra kutratya manmaya mohite tare tavantaeva tatrabdam kridanto vishnasamam. So now he is again thinking that itayate atra kutratya. So who, who are these ones now? Which are exactly the same. Same number, same type, exactly the same. And they, but they are, seem to be different at the same time because they are there and here, they are here. At least, although they look exactly the same, but they are in different place. If two objects are in two different places at the same time, even if they look, look exactly the same, they are two different objects, right? If you have two cars, same brand, same company, and they are parked in two different places, then you know that they are two different cars, because they are in different space, although in the same time. So that was confusing to him. So therefore he says that, Ita etyatra kutratya, from where have these ones come? Because they are not the same, which are bewildered by my Maya, Man Maya Mohitaitare. But they are same number, exactly the same. Tavantaiva, as much as Tatrabdam Kridanta Vishnunasamam. And they are playing with Krishna as it is for one year. So now Brahma knows that on earth one year has passed. Although from his own calculation, his own time, only a short time was passed. So he must come very fast and go very fast. It's not like space travel as we know. Came one truti. It's less than a second. So, ita pradesha atra kinchit dure ete vatsbala vartante eva Tatra Vishnuna Samam Kridanta Kutratyaste Kidrisham and Maya Mahatebhe. So now he is seeing the children at his own place and they are sleeping and then he says, then who are these, the ones I saw there, from where have they come? And they are certainly different because they cannot be same. Cannot have one object in two different places at the same time. So that was bewildering to him. Eva mete shu bhede shu chiram dhyatva se atma bhu. Very question, please. Yes. So, when he is told these are the same, but he understood they are different. Same he means. Same means. No, no. Same means they look same, exactly. 
the, he sees for example Subal sleeping there and he sees Subal playing here or sitting and eating there so that's what same means He's, I mean there are no two, two Subal when I gave the example of two car then we know that two cars were manufactured by the company so there are two cars but if you buy one car from one company and you bring it at your home and then you go to office in your car and you come back home and you see another part, same car, same name plate in your garage. So what are you going to think? He says, what is this? I am driving this car and I see another one, same car. Right? So this is what is means same. And same means as many and they look same. They are not same. But they are that many and exactly the same looking. So they can say Yavanta. Hmm. Actually, there were three sets of uh, these uh, cars and uh, gopas. Hmm. One was uh, the, like the. Ask right your question, one. ask your question. We know that. We know the so three question, sets. Is this the second set or the third set? Which one? One is sleeping, uh, that you can number yourself, whichever you want to call for second, third. You can give your label. Is uh, the mic ones which are sleeping? Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. You, are, you can. It's up to you which one you call to call as first and which one you want to call second. That's up to you. You can call these as the first and the one which are sleeping as second or vice versa. Three, yeah, yeah, there are three. So, what is your question? I don't understand. I am again saying, learn to ask question. You know, I already said everybody knows there are three sets. One was hidden, and one where Krishna manifested, and one Brahma took away, which were creation of Maya. Now, what's your question? Which one was hidden? Because he, when Brahma came, he saw them playing exactly the way they were playing earlier. So, these are the one which Krishna manifested as himself. So, is it, he did not see the hidden ones? No. So, eva chiram dhyatva se atma bhu satya ke katre neti gyatum neshte kathanchana. So, eva mete shu bhedeshu chiram dhyatva se atma bhu satya ke katre naiti gyatum neshte kathanchana. Because if he is seeing those who are hidden, then what is going to happen to these who are Krishna is also there? And he is going to two sets, seeing two sets, right? So he saw only one set. Now whether you want to take this one set, that set, but the scene was same. It's not a problem for Krishna. He can create the same scene, sit and do that. He is going to do that. He can make everyone disappear now and he only even himself will remain. After all, he is, Krishna is trying to bewilder him, so he can do what he wants to do. So he says, evam eteshu bhedeshu chiram dhyatva sa atma bhu. So now for a long time he tried to understand chiram dhyatva. So it means he took some time, he meditated that who is, which one is which and what is what. So Satya K, which one are real and Katre na, and which is not real out of these two, Katara Katama, Tatara Tatama, Yatara Yatama, you remember? So now the Katara is coming here. So Katara Katara, Katre, Katara Katara Katre, like Sarva Sarva Sarva. So among the two, which one is real and which one is not real? Obviously he is thinking that one is real and one is made up. So what is it? Gyatum neshte kathanchana. But he was not able to know this very clearly. He tried his best. He used all his intelligence with four heads. But he could not. So, 
after a lot of deliberation, he was unable to figure this out. So therefore, commentator says, Eteshu bhedeshu iti kimete iha prakrita prakrita te krishna srishta kimva Now this commentary, there are so many mistakes. So difficult to figure out. Somewhere it says, aha. I saw three commentaries, all right, aha. There is, aha is impossible here. Eteshu bhedeshu iti Etasu bhedasu, it is simple that among this kimete, he have prakrita, tatraha. This tatraha doesn't fit at all. Because then he says Krishna Srishta, there is no Krishna Srishta in the verse. But I saw three places, everybody writes in. It's amazing that everybody repeats the same mistake. This aha has no sense here. So according to me, it should be tatra te. Krishna Srishta, Kimva, Ete Eva Krishna Srishta. So he is saying, Kim Ete Iha Prakrita. That is it that these ones here, means the one which are sleeping, they are Prakrita. Prakrita means original. And Tatrate Krishna Srishta and the one which I saw in Raj, they are created by Krishna. Means the one which I stole, they are the original set. And the one I saw there, they are creation of Krishna. Is it like this? Or Kimva Eteva Krishna Srishta Te Prakrita. Or it is that these ones are creation of Krishna and they are the original one. That means the ones which I stole was not the original one. So now he is thinking which one is original, the one which I stole or the one which are there. And he was not able to know this because they look exactly the same. So Kimva Ubheva Krishna Srishta or is it that both of them are creation of Krishna, which actually is true, and the third one, the real one, is somewhere else. So this also he thought. Prakritastu Krishna neva kvapi brahmandatare chalita. So if both are creation of Krishna, then what happened to the original set? So he says that maybe Krishna has sent the original set into another brahmanda. So this is another possibility. He is not thinking that they are also hidden here and both are created. Kimva mai tatra gatva pasyati sati ateva krishnena tatra niyante punaratra gasthi mai tevatra niyante. Now this is the more interesting possibility. Or is it that when I go to see them in Braj, then Krishna brings these ones there before me and when I go to see them here, he brings them here before me. Because that is also possible. So which one is actually what? He is not able to ascertain. So Bhavtu Tarhi Yugpat Yugpat Deva that is another. Yugpadeva, it should be Yugpadeva Ubhayatra, but here it is Yugpatadeva. There is an extra thing. <laughs> so Yugpadeva Ubhayatra, Drishti Nikshapami Iti Tatra. So he says that, okay, if, if Krishna is playing this trick that before I go there, he takes them here to there and then I come here, he brings them here, I am going to see them simultaneously. Because he has four heads. So he says, I'll make use of my four heads. <laughs> with the front head I will see down and with the back head I'm going to see here. So I'm going to keep my eyes on both and see what is what. So drishti nikshapami iti tathakritvapi tan 
Ubhyatra Drishtva. So now he did this. And then he saw that they were in both places, simultaneously. They are sleeping also and they are here also. So now his brain started storming. Previously he was doing brainstorming. Now the brain was storming. So what is this? <coughs> so drishtva chiram dhyatva aiti bhavatu sviya sarvajyataya eva aham avasyam jasyami. So then he thought that, okay, now I'm going to use my power of omnisciency, sarvagyata, and find out what is going on. First he was using normal intelligence, now he's going to use his special power, because he also has. So then he went into his meditation, and through the meditation I will find out. Not just seeing with the external eyes, but now I will see my eye of knowledge. Yogikai, Divya Chaksha. So he did that. So Bahu Samadhina Pi Jatum Naiva Shakat. So even then he was not able to understand. Nothing actually entered in his head. He kept seeing even his Samadhi at both places, but he would not know which is what. Means he was not able to get outside the veil of Krishna's Maya with his best meditation. So Satya Iti Eteshu Bhedeshu Madhye Satya Bhagavat Surup Bhuta Na Satya Bahiranga Maya Srishta Iti Imam Bhedastu Kathanchan Gyatum Shansha Gyan Vishay Kartum Kartum Api Neshte Na So he, he was unable to understand that he understood one thing that obviously one set is made of Maya by Bahiranga Maya, which we read earlier. And one set is real. So he says that Bhagavat Swarup Bhuta, one is which are Swarup Bhuta of Krishna, means one Krishna himself is manifest and one is Bahiranga. He was unable to figure that out, which one is made of Maya and which one is Krishna's manifestation. This he was not able to know. Evam sammohe an vishnum vimoham vishnumohanam svaya eva maya jopi svayam eva vimohita So in this way, Brahma, who, what was he trying? Vishnu Sammohayam. He was trying to bewilder Vishnu. That's what he tried. And who is he? He is the person who is beyond Moha. So he is trying to put Krishna into Maya, who is beyond Maya, Vimoham. And he puts everybody into Maya. Vishwa Mohanam. So Vishwa means world and you know Vishwa means also all. So we saw that, that he put everybody into Maya, including Baldev, Dauji also, under Maya. Well, Brahma didn't know about quantum mechanics. So, now what happened that he was trying to do something to him and he became the victim of that himself. So in Tantra it happens, in Tantra they say that if you do some Tantric prakriya, some Tantric activity to harm somebody, and if that person is powerful, then that harm will come back to you. Yes, it will boom, because that Shakti which you have created, it has to do its job. The, the divine things, they do not go in vain. They have to give the result. It's like if you really throw Brahmastra or even Indrastra or Vayuastra or Agniastra, then they have to do their function. Once they are released, they will go and do it. So if they meet something powerful, then they will come back and harm you. So Brahma was doing Tantra on Krishna, and this is Tantra only. Is what tantric people do. 
black magic. So now the black magic came back on him. So he says that Swaya eva maya ajopi, swam eva mimohita. So although Brahma is aja, ajopi, although he is unborn, so by unborn it is understood that he is outside the realm of maya. Because everybody who is born is under the influence of maya only. That's why they are taking birth. So he himself got bewildered by Maya of Krishna. So here Swaya Eva can refer to Brahma, but commentator says that it's actually Vishnu, not Brahma, by his own Maya. So Brahma Swayam Moha Sunyam, no, Tatascha Brahma Moha Samudra Avarte Nipapata Itya. So now Sukhdev Goswami explains that Brahma, he fell into the whirlpool of the ocean of Maya. Heavy whirlpool, he got sucked into that. So, evamiti sammohayan vatsabalaste yena mohitum upkramana. So the Brahma who actually has put the calves and the cowherd boys under the influence of Maya, but now he himself became under Maya. So Ajopi, Brahmapi, Swayaeva Mayaya, Swameva Vishnu Pryuktya Hetuna Vimohita, Bhagavan Mayaya Vishreshena Mohita. So he himself came under the influence of Vishnu's Maya. And therefore, the word used is called vimohita. So it is interesting that the word vimoham in the first line means one who is without moha. And in the second, it means one who has a very special vimoha. So this v upsarga, which is coming soon in Harinavati Vakaran, sometimes it is used in the sense of without, like you say virag. So raga and viraga. Viraga means without raga. And V is also used in the sense of special. So you have jnana knowledge and we have vijnana, special knowledge. So here it is used in both sense. Vimoha, first is in the sense without moha. Vina moha. Moham vina iti vimoha. And visheshena moha iti Vimoha. So in case of Brahma, Vimoha means special Moha. In case of Krishna, it means no Moha. So this is the effect of Upsarga. Upsarga in Dhatu and Balad and Nitra Niyate, Prahara, Har, Sunghar, Vihara, Pariharavat. Kachit bhinati dhatu arthim, kachit tamanu arthate. So this is what you see here. Visheshene mohita. Mohita syapi brahmana evam vivalari karana rupe vimohane bhagavati maya priyoga rupa aparadha eva karana. So why did he fall into this special moha? So because he has committed an offense to Bhagavan. Otherwise, in the, I think it is in the second canto, Brahma asked that I should not fall into your, under the influence of your Maya, of course, in the act of creation, and says, no, you will not. But if he wants to attack him only, then it is Punar Musika Bhava story that one small mouse came running out of fear of cat and jumped into the lap of a sage. Sage asked, what's wrong with you? He says, well, I'm afraid of the cat. So what do you want? Make me cat. So then I will not have fear from cat. So he made him cat. Then came running and jumped into his lap. He says, what happened now? He says, this dog is chasing me. So make me dog. 
I made him dog. Sage was living in the forest. Then he went out. So one tiger came. So now the dog came running. And he says, what happened now? He says, tiger is chasing me. Make me tiger. So he made him tiger. When he made him tiger, he started attacking the sage. So then the sage says, Punar Musika Bhava. He says, you become mouse again. <laughs> That's what you deserve. <laughs> so that is this Vimohita here, that he came to bewilder him. Although he had the boon not to be bewildered, but if you want to be bewilder the master, then have Vimoha. So therefore, Vishnath Chakrati says that evam vivali karan rupe vimohane bhagavati maya prayog rupo aparadheva karan. So this kind of uh, vimoha which Brahma is having, which is causing a great disturbance to him, so this is because he has committed the offense of using his maya on Bhagavan. So, Maya Prayoga Rupa Apradheva Karnam. So, therefore, if we commit offense, then what happens? We fall under Maya. That's the outcome. Every time you commit an offense, Maya catches you. It doesn't leave you in Brahma. So, you may be Aja, then you have to be caught by his Maya. So, Natu Swa Maya Eva Brahma Vimohita Iti Vyakhyam. So, one should not say that Brahma was bewildered by his own Maya. Because this in the sloka, why he is commenting? Sloka says, Swaya Eva Maya Ajopi Swayam Eva Vimohita. So, if you read the sloka, it looks like that. Brahma himself was bewildered by his own Maya. It looks like that. Mm. The word Swa in Sanskrit okay. is little bit tricky the way it is used. It can use yourself, it can also be used for other persons. So naturally it looks like that the word Swaya here refers to Brahma. Brahma got bewildered by his own Maya. But it says that Swaya here not refers to that. Swaya refers to Krishna's Maya. Why is that? Because when you have to give meaning, you also have to see that you don't go against well-known Siddhanta. So one of the principles of Maya is that Maya cannot bewilder its own Ashraya. You have to remember this. This is a principle of Vedanta. So Maya Yaha Svaya Ashraya Mohekattva Sambhavat that Maya cannot bewilder its own Ashraya. So if it is Brahma's Maya, that means Brahma is the shelter of this Maya. So then this Maya cannot bewilder Brahma. That's why this principle is used also to refute Advaitvad. Because Advaitvad says that Brahma under the Brahman under the influence of Maya becomes Jiva. Right? So, Maya Upahita Brahma is Jiva and also Ishvara. Avidya and Maya they make two divisions, or Vidya and Avidya two divisions in different way. But so now the question is that what is the shelter of this Maya? So, there cannot be in Advaita Vedanta, there cannot be any other shelter other than Brahman because there is no other tattva. So, this Maya cannot be independent. So, it is sheltered on, in Brahman and if it is sheltered in Brahman, then how it can bewilder Brahman because Maya cannot bewilder its own Ashraya. So, that is what he is saying here that Maya Yaha Sva Ashraya Mohakatva Asambhavata. 
स्वाश्रयव्य आश्रयस्य so mohakatva sambhavat it is not possible and it also goes against the example which is given if someone tries to refute this point and then try to prove that maya brahma was bewildered by his own maya then this goes against the example which is given in the next verse so tamyam tamo here again problem whether it is tamovan or tamova according to commentary it looks like va so here we have what tamyam tamovan naiharam khadyotarchi rivahani mahati tara mayashyam nihanti atmani yunjata so he says it just like this that tamyam means at night tamovat naiharam that you have darkness at night and then there is fog so can this fog overpower the darkness of the night or can it dispel that darkness of night the fog no and khadyota archire vahani or is it that the firefly firefly at night it glows can it overpower the sunlight in the daytime so he says it is not possible it is not possible that the firefly can overpower the sunlight it is the sunlight which overpowers in the daytime you may not even see the firefly glowing just like you don't see the stars in the day why you don't see the stars in the day because the sunlight is too bright therefore you don't see them sometimes when there is a complete eclipse solar eclipse you can see the stars in the day so he says mahati itar mayashyam nihanti atmani yunjata so if one tries to apply a weak person tries to apply his maya on a strong person then that maya is going to uh, cover or disempower that person himself his own capacity nihanti atmani yunjata so that's being described here explains the commentary more clearly maha maya vini bhagavati anya maya avaran vikshepo kartum ashaknuvati sva ashrayam eva tiraskaroti iti drishtanta bhyamah so brahma he was applying his maya sva ashrayam eva means the maya which was under his ashraya so what was he is trying to do, do he was trying to maya has two parts one is avaram another is vikshepa one is that it covers your knowledge your vision your understanding another is that it makes things appear outside and you get absorbed in that this is what maya is doing that it has covered our swarup gyan our knowledge of our own self and then it has put us it has made us absorbed into this body and objects outside so two things it is a double attack that on one side it covers you on the other side it gives you the toys to play because if it only covers you and does not give you material to play then you will just be like dull fellow not doing anything or not knowing what to do so it also gives that so this is how jayavi maya also works right 
So, people cover your understanding first by giving you advertisement and they tell bunch of lies. Right? The people have done studies on advertisement and they say that 90 percent of what they say is a lie. So, that means covering your understanding and then they show you nice pictures, photographs, this, that. Then you buy it. So, Avaran and Vikshet, that is Maya. This is how the world is working. So, now in case of Brahma, his Maya was not able to do this. Why? Because Krishna is Mahamayavi. He is the godfather of Maya. So, fire cannot burn the sun. If you create some fire here in this material world and with that you want to burn the sun, how is that possible? Because all the fire here is actually coming from sun only. So, it can, it is not possible. So, all the Maya, the source of Maya, Mam Maya Durataya, Devi He Sagun Mai, Mam Maya, this is my Maya and he is talking about material Maya, he also has Yoga Maya. So, he is a Maha Mayavi. Mayavi also means deceptive person. So, he is the greatest deceptor and you want to deceive him and for deceiving you have to do two things like people when they want to deceive they tell you lies right so telling lies means they cover you and then they ask you to do something or give something that is vikshepa so he says mahamayavini bhagavati anya maya avan vikshepo kartum so no nobody's maya can work on him so therefore Svaya Ashrayam Eva Tiraskaroti, therefore it attacks his own shelter. So this is described by two examples, this Tantabhyam. Tamyam, Tamyantam Asyam Ratrau, Neharam Tamovat Nihar Sambandhi Tamaiva, Ivarthayatra Vashabdha. So it seems in the reading there is a Va because it says that Va here means Eva. Hmm? That's what I'm saying. Everybody has what? What? You had what? Yes, it's what chapter. So then in the Mula it's Tamyam, Tamo Vat. So Tamo Van. But what is, what is in the Vidhanath? What, what is the next statement? Eva Yad Vacha Sadrishi. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I have. No, I scrolled. Um, was vach ah exactly. So tama eva eva arte atra vach chabda eva mm. vat va cha sadrushi iti abhinana. So I don't know. If this seems to be some people are saying it is va here. Of course, what say makes sense, and the reading is what. But I don't know why they get. Because they say, Eva Vat Va Cha Sadrishi. Means this Va here is like Eva. Eva Vat Va. Could it also mean that Eva, Vat, Va, and Cha all are similar? Or that they all mean Sadrishi? Sadrish, yeah? Yeah, but you see, what, what is not, what is not a word, what is a pratyaya. Eva, eva is an avya, va is an avya, avya, cha is an avya, but what is not an avya? How can you say what here? <laughs> what is not a shabda? And it could also not mean a word which has, which has the vat. Then you have to say Vadanta. Mm. So when you say Ivartho Atra Vat Shabda, what do you mean Vat Shabda? What is not a Shabda? Mm. Right? So it's a mistake. 
and then eva vat of course we don't know from which abhidhan he had it we can check our course if it is there but vat va vat vat is i mean there are two vat pratyas one which comes from matup like you have bhagavat another is vat in the sadrishya arth krishna vat bhakta vat like a devotee tadvat ya me but that what is not a shabda it's a pratya so to say that what shabda eva arthe atra what shabda you have to say what i don't know why what shabda can come there it's a problem so naharam tamo yatha तमीम आवर्त असमर्थ तमीत सांद्रीकृत्य तेन स्वे आवृणति निहार तिस्कती सो इस नैहार तमो यथा तमीम आवरी तुम असमर्थ इस दट फॉग द डार्कनेस ऑफ द फॉग कैन नॉट कवर द डार्कनेस ऑफ द नाइट तो तमीतम सांद्रीकृत तेन स्वे आवृणति बट राधर द डार्कनेस ऑफ द नाइट मेक्स द फॉग लुक मोर थिक सेम फॉग लुक्स मोर थिक एट नाइट द सेम फॉग लुक्स लेस थिक वेन द सन कम्स अप सन दट फॉग इज गॉन इट जस्ट बिकॉज देर इज मोर लाइट नाउ so it is the night darkness which is influencing the fog and not other way around that's what that is the example means the fog is trying to attack the darkness of the night it get attacked itself and therefore it becomes thick so there is a sandri kritya tena swamev avrnoti niharam chatras karoti तथे ब्रह्म ब्रह्ममाया भगवत मोहित असमर्थ भगवद ऐश्वर्य विप्लुकृत स्वयं आवृतवती ब्रह्मण तिरस्कार सो इन द सेम वे द माया ब्रह्म विच वाज अनेबल टू ओवर पावर भगवान सो देर फॉर इट ओनली एक्सपेंडेड द ऐश्वर्य ऑफ भगवान by bewildering brahma cuz now brahma is confused so brahma brahmanam eva tiras chakar this regard drishtante asmin amshena brahma maya api hetutvam asti iti aparitushyan drishtantaram ah so here in this example of darkness and fog fog also contributes to darkness so therefore it looks like that as if brahma's maya is also contributing to krishna's ashwarya so therefore he is not happy with this example and thus he gives the second example not being very happy with the first example so the second example then comes ratrau yatha pradyotate tatha divase api mat prabha pradyodatam iti khadyotena prayukta api prabha divase udbhavitum eva na shaknoti so this khadyota khadyota is the fire fire firefly so at night he is shining he is going around <coughs> feeling very happy look i have light so when he says that as i'm bringing light at night i will also do it in the day time so then he get wakes up in the morning there is already enough light but he wants to show that i have a light so then he now he runs around 
and nobody notices him. So he is wondering what happened to my light. So he thought that as I am bringing light at night, I will also bring light in the daytime. So Devasayapi mat prabha pradyot tamiti khadyotena prayuktapi prabha. So then he tries to do this in the daytime, but nothing, it did not happen. Devasaya udbhavitu mevana shaknoti. No effect was felt by anybody, including he himself. He didn't see any light. So pratyut tameva bhrashtatez sam sarvan gyapeti. Rather, it looked like that he himself has lost light. At night, he looked delighted. Right? And in the daytime, he looked like anyone else. No, no one sees any light coming out from him. So he became bhrashtatez, that means as if his light is gone. So he has to charge whole day, then he can shine at night. Tatheva anyatra aishwaryavan api brahma bhagavati api maya nijashwaryam prakritum kamo bhrashta teja eva bhut. So in the same way, Brahma who has aishwarya and his aishwarya is seen in other places. If he comes on earth or if devas come, rishis come, everybody sees his aishwarya. But then he wanted to show his Aswarya to Krishna. So it did not work. Not only it did not work, he himself became like disempowered by Krishna's Maya. Because now he is looking like a fool. He doesn't even know whether these are real or those are real. This is the one I stole or is Krishna is doing the trick or what is going on. So he lost all his Aswarya. So this is the meaning of brast Ashwarya. So Nijashwaryam Prakritu Kamo Brast Teja Eva Bhutityata. So therefore, what is the principle? The principle is Mahati Purusha Itar Maya Kartri Atmani Atmanam Yunjuta Swa Prunjanasya Pumsha Ashwaryam Ashwaryam Nihanti. That if a person tries to utilize one's Ashwarya or Maya to overpower a superior person, then the person who is applying it, that person himself becomes disempowered. So that's what was seen in case of Brahma. So Brahma is finally realized that I am not as powerful as I thought so. So I will stop here. Now Krishna will continue to make him more and more disempowered until he will fall onto the ground and pray to him. So any questions on this? Just in this last sentence here, it says, Itara Maya Katri? Hmm. What, what does it mean? Is Katri? Could you explain? Katri. Karta. Saptami Bhakti of Karta, what is will be? Kartari. So I think it should be that only. Kartari Atmani. Because unless. Or it is just a word used for Maya. Itar Maya Kartri. Maya, which is an agent to do that. Feminine. Okay, because I'm just asking because in the print I see Katri, so K, Tra, and then E. But this is not possible, no? Mm, no. For feminine equation, it will be Kartri. Oh, really? Not Kartari. Mm. Uh, we have a question. Uh, is related to the power of uh, discrimination and uh, the power of deliberating. Because uh, I, 
here this past time and several times I get stuck in different points but it's the first time that I see the deliberation of, of Balaram and the deliberation of Brahma. So the human beings have the power the power to find the higher truth by their own deliberation. Or they always need the help of uh, no, 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 they have, uh, there is a statement by Kapila Dev in third canto. Swata jnanam kuta punsham bhakti vairagya mevaja. It says it is not possible to get knowledge by oneself, but to speak of bhakti and vairagya. And then Krishna also says that anadya vidya yukta se purusha atmana. That it has to come from other. And we also see it in our own life. Mm. When you are born, you will learn it from others. Mm. Of course, when you become adult and grown up person, then you think I am getting knowledge by myself. You are not mm. just getting knowledge by yourself. You are studying, but you have already been given knowledge. Mm. And now you are utilizing that to learn more. So in that sense we can say that the outcome of every deliberation that every living beings make comes in a success by Krishna's grace. Knowledge, forgetfulness, memory come from me. Anything else? Okay, what, is, what, I said, uh, what is Brahma's Maya? Because we did that uh, all Maya is Krishna's energy and whatever uh, is uh, required for creation, that much uh, power is given to Brahma. Hmm. So what is meant here by Brahma's Maya? Means he can create or he put them to sleep. That is, that is the Maya. Maya means deception here. Maya also means grace, but here it means means ability to deceive. If somebody is more powerful, more intelligent, then he can deceive you. That's what Maya means. We already saw Maya means it does two functions: our own worship. Okay. Somebody is saying something? No. Who is speaking? Malika. Okay. Can you hear now? Yes. So can this principle of Maya not being able to overpower its Ashraya be applied to, I mean, everything? Yeah, and just like is, just like you, you have some knowledge, right? And now there may be your niece or nephew, small, five, ten year old. So you try to fool them. Right? You give them something to eat when, and you say this is eatable and when actually it is not and they are simple. This is what Maya means. But now you are fooling, can this also fool you yourself? I mean you know yourself what you are doing. So putting somebody delusion, how are you going to put yourself in delusion? It doesn't work with the, the, with the illusion and with other things which have ashrayas. For example, uh, uh, well, they want, the other examples they were like with this uh, fire fly and the fire, right? So that's one example, which is not then which is not an example of illusion. No, this is just to show that 
the small power cannot over power bigger power that's all it means the example of firefly and sunlight is to show that somebody has got small power and somebody has got bigger power so how the small power guy go he go he goes to fight with the big power guy so he won't win rather he himself will become fooled i mean fooled in the sense that people will make fun of him why did you try this or in the process he can lose something that's what it means and like something very on a very practical level let's say for example the the, the shelter of the baby is its mother mm. so the baby cannot overpower the mother yeah there it also works Baby can overpower the mother by crying. Balanam rodanam balam. The strength of children is in crying. They are quite good at it. They can cry eight hours non-stop. <laughs> Sometimes in the plane. Okay.